and we begin with the new... Where'd you like to go today? Crown Tundra Station. Yeah, a bunch more than last week. I grabbed all of the stuff that I got from Sword and Shield. Or not Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon. Ooh. Crown Tundra looks neat. But yeah, we've got two minutes before the first giveaway. This must be your first visit to the Crown Tundra, am I right? I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see. If I update your Pokemon Pokedex for you, will you help me research what species appear here? Sure. Pokedex is being updated. Crown Tundra Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. Do your best to complete your new Crown Tundra Pokedex. Okay. Let's see how many Pokemon are available in it. Okay, 203 of 203. Looks good. Uh, yep, evolutions. Please tell me it's just those two evolutions I would be all oh, right, the two Reggies. Yep, Zapdos, Arcturno, Zapdos, Moltres, these three, and I guess it would be the th three additional, the three new Pokemon added. Okay, we're good here. Thank you. Oh, wait. Yes. Yeah. That is the beauty of having everything in home. I just transferred it over ages ago, and then I have all these Pokedexes completed. It's been a while since I came back home, but it seems like a lot's changed. It's a lot colder than I remember, and there are so many rockish Pokemon wandering around. My normal wake-up alarm just went off. Yeah, it seems like the whole giveaway thing is not working out. Come on, Dad. Lay off and quit following me already. Oh, oh well. I'm going to go on a Dynamax adventure in the Max Lair, and I don't need you breathing down my neck. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. Yeah, don't you fret. I know somewhere way more fun than that musty old place. You're ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever. What a generous and totally unwanted offer. Afraid I've got to say no thanks. Kind of cool with this family. They're just goofy. Like, this is... So yeah, it is very much a goofy movie with these two. Hello. Come on, Nia, be reasonable. Or get ready for the ult to be ultra mega embarrassed. As I unleash the noble roar of Dad. Yeah, I'll take a hard pass on that, thanks. Excuse me, hello, yes, you the boy over there. My dad is stutter my dad is stubborn as steel and he won't leave me alone. Back me up, would you? Sure. Brilliant. Have a great time with this geezer, then. Now hold on, lad. I can't say approve of you button in blindly, but if I but if I just give you a trounce and this young lady here ought to see reason. The name's Peony. Brace yourself, I'm pretty fur ferocious in battle. Sure. Just, you know, have evolved Pokemon, please. Nope. Click the link for a PS5 at Walmart, and the the episode's just not loading, so I'm not worried about it. Episode, the page, not worried about it. Aren't you the brave one picking a fight with a once-time gym leader? It's hailing. Sure. Vicious rend. Oh man, 
Uh, sorry about that. Did not realize your copperage was squishy. Actually, Dracobish, you might actually be one of the... Pokemon Trainer Peony is about to send out Agron. Will you switch your Pokemon? I'm going to keep this in, but I wanted to... Yeah. The more hearts it takes, the more I'll... Yeah. Hey, Agron. This would be the time to introduce, like... Okay, you've got strong jaw. I was curious because... Ah, okay, that makes sense. Jeez, oh, 85 doubled? That's harsh. Although now you're faster, so. Okay, not bad, not bad at all, but watch out next time. Oh, next time it's my turn. For some reason, when he took his hat off, Suddenly thought he was balded, but no, it's gray hair. Hmm. Stone Edge. Wouldn't would have been funny if it missed. Yeah, the Dracovish thing is scary. Strong draw J Dracovish. Yeah. Because you're relatively fast, I think. Who's... Oh, right. Choosing new Pokemon Dreadnought? Sure. We'll stick Dreadnought out there. Like a Gantamaxable Dreadnought. And send some liquidation his way. Eat a food, Pokemon Trainer Peony. This is not my place to be bragging. Yeah, look at me taking a thrashing from a youngster like you. Hmm. Yeah, your your daughter ran. <laughs> my darling daughter's disappeared. Where you've gone, my sweet Nia? Uh of course, my knee is the sweetest, darlingest daughter and dad could ask for. I brought her out here so we could have a proper father-daughter trip, first one in ages. Now that we've got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds, make him a decoy, and legs it. That's my dear Nia for you. That's just her backward way of showing her papa she loves him. Must be. That's the type of girl she is. Ultra mega charming, isn't it? Still, without her, I can't start this adventure of... Legendary spots I've planned for us. She mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place. God, hard to not fall into. She mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place called the Max Lair, didn't she? Seriously, to me, sounds to me like she wants to wants good old Papa to chase after. Her. Well, she don't, she needn't worry. I'm not wasting. I'm not one for wasting time. It makes my brain hurt trying to read this shit. Which means it's time to... I gotta move on. Cheers for the final battle. I'll be seeing you then, lad. Take care of those strong Pokemon of yours. Something about him is drawing me into the... more southern drawl I've got. We'll restore. I guess this place is regularly snowy. Never melt ice. Yeah, while we're out here, I need to find the uh, odd incense. Okay. The Swablu. That's that. Huh. I was distracted, but yeah. There's a wild dinosaur. <laughs> Looks like these type don't really move in herds, though. Oh, okay. Let's 
so you can stop paying attention to his stream. I mean, Tabletop Sim is fun. I enjoy some things he's done on there, like the Dark Souls stuff and a lot of a lot of the things that have made it to YouTube, but I sometimes find it hard to get into and watch streams of his, usually because I'm waking up about this time to try and get a shower and get ready to work. This must be the one Max Lair that Neil was talking about. Which means my darling daughter's in there right now having to giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. Right, just hold you on. You hold on, you, my dear. Here comes Papa. Like, some of his phrasings and words are very... Hello. S southern feeling to me. Hello. Just hello again. They're just everywhere. Hello, Dino. <sighs> Cosmic power, cool. I'm curious if I can get. Gamble, I probably can't. I was gonna say could get max mushrooms here, but is that out in the distance? That's fair. Just not having an interest in Freezington. You you literally named your town Freezing Town. Y'all are crazy. Oh, hello, Beldum. Is this just your house? Oh. Okay, that's neat. That's like the Calistrax thing. And I guess this is their house. So they just live here. I imagine he does not let her leave the house often because it's rather dangerous. And Dracovish, you hit real hard, and I enjoy that. Let's just put you out front, because I want to see this. Oh, right, I'm not being followed by any of my Pokemon. Pokemon. Hello. Curious. Yes, there they are. Hey, hey, Sonya. These are exactly what I was looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Wait, Redress? What are you doing in a place like this? Exploring. Are you having me on this freezing place? Or the kind of locale I'd pick to go exploring if it were up to me. But here I am, stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to learn more about a group of Pokémon. There's some Pokémon that prefer places where there are no people, you see. Pokémon that choose to live in isolation. Crown Tundra here is just the place for that sort of Pokemon. If my theory is correct, I think a certain tree of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm not sure my th I'm sure my theory is not wrong. If you want some proof, then look here. See those footprints? Sure. You found evidence of the Iron Will Pokemon. That's two percent of the data needed to track it. The theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere out here in the Crown Tundra. And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place that'll lead us to them. Oh. We can find more evidence and collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, and I bet we could use my Pokefind Pokemon Finder to figure out what the habitats they're living in. But this place is wicked cold, and it's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, Redris? I think you could try to spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it. I'll reward you for your hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in that house there so I can... S oh, that's the Beldum house. So I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers 
or so that I can grip a pen and write, of course, since I'll be working so hard on my research. I mean, if your fingers are, you know, not feeling all right out in the cold, it's probably a good thing to go inside. Pokeball. Utility umbrella. Oh, yeah. Stops Pokemon being under the effect of harsh sunlight and rain. That's an interesting addition, I think. Hello. Let's <laughs> feel. I'll just say orb. Hello. Okay. Thank you for... Why do you have a Cosmog? That took me way too long to realize. But that's foofy. I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know, I think it was just about when I began found Foofy that other strange Pokemon began appearing in the tundra. Uh-huh. I've never seen a Pokemon like Foofy before. Maybe it's best to have a proper trainer take care of it. If only I could find a dependable one. Hello. How do I prove it? Give. Give. Fine. I will be back to steal it later. Hello. Walking, welcome to Freezington. I must, it must have been quite a journey to get here. The Crown Tundra is famous for carrots, you know. Maybe it'll, it'd be... I, can carrots grow in freezing ground? Sure, I'll take some carrot seeds. Though I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. What a trade. Eight pieces of dynite ore and I'll give you the seeds. Well, I'm curious what the carrot seeds do. I've got... I'm going to get plenty of more dynite ore. Bag of carrot seeds. The key item. Curious. Hello. This also has a bunch of old people here. <laughs> Which act they can in the Pokemon world, apparently. Yes, that's fair. Oh. You mean your kids left to, you know, get away from a freezing fucking tundra? I can get behind that. Oh, jeez. Really? This is where you get the charcoal? Like, this late into the game? Maybe there's multiple. Alright. I'm trying to find where you get the crown for... Hmm. Slow, bro. Alright, back to the top of the hill, then. We'll go help Peony with his daughter problem. And his daughter with her dad issues. Hmm. Please, sir, I can't let you. I think you can. My precious daughter's in there and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but, but what? I'm here to have an adventure and I want to kick it off right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Err... Hey, Peony. Oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have you? Alright. Nothing's alright, and everything's the matter. This ultra-mega numpty of a scientist insists on getting in my way. Numpty of a- I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid, and... I've got no patience for standing here listening to you rattle off the fine point. Print. Sigh, we're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow the two of you to enter this pair. Ah, now you're talking. 
Go on then. Let's hear what the good lady's got to say. Oh boy. And then we'll go find my little Nia together, right? Right? Sure. What you got? Here it is. Yeah. That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well, then. Then I will proceed. Max Lair's a labyrinth, underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. <laughs> well, that's an example and a half. Former Team Fort Trainer set off to explore mysterious Max Lair, see if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to wait you in the deepest part of the unusual den. Take part in Dynamax Adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon. Oh. Borrow. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore this den, you'll come to oh. branches. To avoid the risk of the outer particles of overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the particles of particles effects. Right, right, I follow you. So you're saying you don't want Galar losing Control, so the Pokemon rent some particles, and we might see a rare overexposure. That was stunningly incorrect, sir. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you've got a firm grip of the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right, sounds like this is a bit beyond me, so I'll just go in and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my dear, my darling Nia. Sir, no, I've just told you, it's too dangerous. Going on with that man, he looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the chairman's at all. Okay, so they at least cover it in game because I was curious. Any might be related, but it looks but no wait. I thought Rose was also not. Sigh. Well, you're ready to go chase him down. Pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure. Please let me know. This is my first Dynamax adventure. Hello. That's not bad. Those are okay. That is the thing we need for certain things. That is the thing I need for, like, big purchases. Hello. I was not trying to talk to the Dottler, but okay. We have Pokemon helping us out with our investigations too, you know. Sure. It was probably going to make me save as I enter here, but, you know. If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I will provide you with Dynite Ore as a reward. I will also allow you to keep one, just one, of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Yeah, it makes you save to enter. That makes sense. A little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. So yeah, don't invite others. You can borrow one Pokemon. I don't really know what I'm after in this cave. Let's take Marshall. Oh. Oh, oh that's interesting. Uh, okay. There's a strong water type reaction coming from this den. This is weird. You can actually get a. Okay, that's a. I have a fighting type. That'll be fine. That was a Dunsparce. You can actually get a view of what these Pokemon are. So yeah, it's a bunch of in-order raid dens, is what it looks like. I don't think I really have much option here in special defense. We'll do a hailstorm just so we can get extra damage on Dunsparce. From what I understand, general, like, in-person, or person-to-person -person rules for this is that you want to allow for... You don't want to Dynamax if you're not getting super effective hits off. 
apparently. Yeah, been stats down. Expanding force? Interesting. But do these also not have the, uh... Okay, so they're not gonna have the... the weird ability that gives them a shield, so... That's interesting. But you also have to deal with... randomized Pokémon. That's neat. That really is. Ooh, Speed Boost Blaziken. That's actually worth checking. I didn't think to. You have Torrent, so yeah. Never mind. I'm kind of okay with it. Coaching. Ah, support moves. Gotcha. <laughs> it looks like... Ev hmm. Wait, you just gave the Dunsparce more defense. Are you dumb? Why would you do such a thing? It's fine, Blaziken has this. Do I want a Dunsparce? Sure. I'll try. I believe these are all... free... catches, and you, because you get to pick one to take with you. Yeah. I think so. So you can put them in any kind of ball you like. Um... I'm... Good with it. We have a done sparse instead of a Blaziken added. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. That'll be fun. And at the moment, any of these has a one in one hundred percent, or not one in one hundred. One. Uh, your current Pokemon for another rental? No. Keep chins up and keep on adventuring. So Freya... Okay. So you get options to change out your team quite often, which is interesting. I'm guessing, like, left-right directions will be voted on when you've got more than one player. Oh. I think the trio used Iron Head... Max Quake. Yeah. I wasn't sure how that was gonna help. The Pokemon we had, I think we're fine. I'm just gonna super effective. Ooh, Dunsparce has Ice Beam. Did not know that. Flygon used Max Quake. Yeah, Flygon should go down pretty easily here. Topsy Turvy here is probably fine. Yeah, cool. I don't know what's next on list, but I might take Flygun. We will be catching with a Pokeball. Again, I think that they are fine to just get free on. There we go. Yeah, they just are auto-catches. 
which means that like the special Pokeballs you can get are super nice in here. Uh, yeah, we have generally the same coverage. Ghost is that. Fire. What is fire? Grass looks like a bomb of snow. That's a Torkoal. This. That seems like it'll be fun. Gorgeist. <laughs> that is terrifying, and I love it. Bug Buzz, because... Ooh, yeah, free basic defense. Well, not even basic. Big defense down. Yeah, Bug Tight. I was hoping for... Ooh. Eh, that's fine. I'm liking this already. Like, I feel like it's going to be very fun when I can get a bunch of people to play with and do shiny hunting in here. I don't want a Dynamax here, do I? Uh, yeah. we'll take this for some pretty heavy damage because you've already had a pretty big stats down. As long as we don't get topsy turvied again. You do not like Dunsparce, apparently. Progress is weak, throw a Pokeball now. Which, I really should stock up on basic Pokeballs. Gotcha. Gorgeist was caught. Hmm. Yeah, actually. The encounter to scientist. Is your Pokemon feeling a bit worn out from your adventure? Ever run a Pokemon here that I could swap with someone? Uh not really. Hey kit, that's good. Keep your chins up and keep on adventuring. Okay, so you run into certain things that give you boons. What have we got here? Or a water type. Oh! Hello! Okay. That's an impressive water type to start with. Uh, wait. I messed up. That's fine. I'll try and stay out of the way. Actually, moving off of what I did might be fine. Serena might be our saving grace in here. Prop kit. We're not doing much damage at the moment. Although that that is going to be helpful in the long run. And it's kind of nice that you're not pushed. Or you're pushed into using certain Pokemon, but like it feels different levels of interesting. We just need someone to Dynamax. Extra sensory, that doesn't hurt that bad. I'm surprised you have not used an ice type attack, truthfully, Suicune. 
And from what I understand, you don't want to claim... Uh, well, if you're looking for shiny Pokemon or shiny legendaries, you don't want to claim any legendaries. Unless they are of shiny type. You'll catch them, just don't claim them. Because then you will lose them. Yeah, I think this will be fun to play around with. Oh, leg. Also, we've got 30 minutes until the next shiny Pokemon giveaway. I'm being of no help with this Suicune. <laughs> because I misinterpreted what my Grass-type attack was doing. <sighs> oh no. Serena? And you hurt yourself. That's not good. Let's get her smack, though. Yeah, some of us are just not doing that well against a Suicune. I also think they probably won't allow my first... And it might be. A possibility. They might allow my first one to have a shiny in it. Suicune's defense fell. Water Pulse. Oh, confused. Please, Dunsparce, do this for me. Nice. Throw a Pokeball now. But yeah, I could actually grind for shiny Suicune. If I wanted to, possibly. I might. Yeah. That is definitely a guarantee, but they make it go through the whole animation. Eh, no shinies. Too bad. Don't want to take the Suicune because I might later on try and hunt for one. I'll take a Gorgeist. Hmm. I just have to sort that out. Hello? Oh, yeah, we're just in here, and we're gonna talk with Penny. Or er, Nia. Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for a Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked, guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Peonia. Okay. Nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? I'm Redris. Oh, what a perfect name for you. It really suits you. Is my dad on his way here, too? I haven't seen him. Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mudbray. Things go all right after I... Things go all right after I left? What? You beat my old man? You sure pulled a blinder there. He used to be a gym leader, you know? Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about he planned for us to check out local legends on the super intensive adventure 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 tour adventure as he calls it but, i mean come on what girl my age would be caught dead doing some naft thing like that we're dead besides i really fancy having more battles with dynamax pokemon oh the thrill of one of those massive towering pokemon just thinking about me about it gets me pumped you know what i've had I've just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? And I bet you could handle taking on my place on my old man's adventure. Sounds like great fun? Maybe. You're right, it does. It's a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. 
He's so hyped up about all this, it'd be a shame to just leave him on his own. And who knows, you could end up running into, the le into a legendary Pokemon. But I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the Max Lair. Go on then, enjoy your twosome tour of legends. Tell my old man the deal and all that. I don't know if he's gonna agree. Oi. No. Oh. He got booted out, apparently. The old gentleman has been injured, and after much kicking and screaming, I've brought him back here. Yellow. Oh, it hurts. It ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling Nia? What happened? Fine gentleman appears to have tripped on a rock and struck his head. Mm, adventures aren't to be taken lightly. I've learned that firsthand now. First hand, I mean. Oh, yeah. He said first head initially. I was just checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks, and look how I've ended up. Behind some rocks. Is your daughter a roly coly, sir? There we go, I'm up. The little bump's gonna keep me down long. That kip's got me feeling. Right as rain. How about it then, lad? Did you find my darling Nia? I did, but. Hmm, you don't say. Dear Nia's set on staying away till she's had her fill of this Dynamax Adventure stuff. She wants the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on the Grand Peony Adventure. Adventure? You know I burned the candle at both ends working out the best itinerary I could for my dear Nia's sake. I guess she's at the age when she doesn't want her old man tagging along all, tagging along all the time. I'm trying to press her into doing what I want to do probably won't win me any Dad of the Year awards. Right then, what's your name, kid? Cheers, Raiders. My name's Peony. Wait, have I already told you so? Yeah. <laughs> then it's twice as nice to meet you. Peony's lead card. Oh yeah, I wanted to check lead cards. Let's, ourselves, let's have ourselves such a mess, such a smashing adventure that my dear Neil will be itching to join in the fun. Yeah, let's. Now that's an ultra mega great response. Just what I was hoping to hear. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves a real treat of a legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's decided. Now then, Redris, let's get ourselves to Freeze Town. Freezington. It's a town just a short ways off. I've been there already, but yeah. Time for a strategic plan and meeting for Peony's Venture. Fill you in on the details once you get there. I say let's re reconvene post haste. Ah, just pulling your leg. Can you imagine if I actually talk like that? Yeah, ha 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 ha. Okay. Whatever, bruh. 